Hey guys, it's Spencer with Coolman or Not, and I am here with uh, Jen Haley, the lead judge of Crystal Brush Competition, and our overall winner of the $10,000 in the gold crystal brush this year, Kirill Kanaev. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm right. trying very hard. And your, uh, your, your winning piece was uh, the Crimson Fist com First Company Captain. Captain, right. I got it. Right. I got it. Uh, an incredible. Thank you. Incredible piece. Yes, thank you very much. Let's, there's a lot to talk about with this piece. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but let's start with just a general overview of the piece, what you were thinking when you started painting it and sculpting it, everything that you did going into this piece, just kind of a general, for not only what you, what you were thinking, what, what drove you, inspiration, but mm -hmm. also uh, how long did this piece take you to do? Okay, okay. It's really long work. I started three years ago. It's three a commission years. work. Yeah, three years. I um, work uh, with weak inspiration, therefore, it's a very long process. Uh, three years, it's uh, not the uh, whole time that I made it. Mm. Uh, just uh, working apart one month and second month, uh, three months, just several days. But in any case, it was really long work, and I just waiting a real good inspiration because it's a very important project for me. I just tried to make it something really whoa. <laughs> it was whoa. Yeah. You, yeah. You, I think you made it. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Uh, and I'm just a big fan of the 30K, uh, Warhammer 30K. Mm -hmm. It's my, um, I think it's my first love in the hobby. Mm. Uh, I start to paint historical models uh, every time. I, uh, a very, very long time ago, it was uh, middle of the 80s. <laughs> but in the middle of the 90s, I first time uh, look into the Warhammer. It's what's absolutely amazing things. And it's just good to my brain. It's, I can't uh, forget it. For, it's my forever love. Yeah. And, and I try to make just really something, something amazing that uh, nobody can repeat. Yeah. yeah. Nobody it, will ever repeat. Yeah, that. yeah. So let's... Let's talk about the, the, the process of where did you start with this piece? Because you've said to take about three years, not constant work, but three years of work. And it's not, uh, it's not a pre-made model, that this is something that you've... Yeah, it's a full scratch build. Mm -hmm. full, and I should probably yeah. point out that some competitions take conversion and sculpting into account when mm -hmm. judging. This was entirely on the painting. Paint. Yeah, so, so even though it is a full scratch build, that doesn't, that doesn't even weigh in the factor, but it's interesting to know. So. Let's talk about let's let's talk about where you started and what drove your inspiration for the full scratch build. Mm, okay, uh, so uh, my favorite uh, subject in the 40 k is uh, Terminators, Terminator armor because they they huge, uh, large surface and possible to make a really rich decoration. Uh, and uh, in same time, I'm try to make th uh, things that looks uh, alive. Yeah. Uh, for example, if you uh, uh, look into the movies, uh -huh. uh, modern blockbusters, historical blockbusters, you see that uh, the heroes, they are very, very charismatic persons. Yeah. And I try to combine this uh, subject of 30K with, uh, with this kind of uh, movies, and I just choose a person. <laughs> yeah, I had made a <laughs> casting for the... You ca yeah, you yeah, casted your... For, for the captain, <laughs> I think about uh, it a long time. And I think that uh, Daniel Craig yeah. is the winner <laughs> of this casting. I, yeah, I think one Maybe of the things Maybe it should that, have been 007 Company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that it, every everyone who saw it was even just like, yeah, that's perfect. That would be the guy, yeah. right? Because he's, he's yeah. huge, perfectly like you yeah. know, very handsome, square, very strong jawline yeah. character, and be, that's perfect for it. So yeah, exactly for Space Marine. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I mean, I just. And it's just so, it's so realistic, yeah. right? The way he's sculpted and everything Thanks. like that. Yeah. And again, we're talking about this simply because it's a feat of, of incredible skill, and it's not even what won the competition for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that was entirely that. additional. Yeah, yes. yeah. So let's, let's talk about then, so that's incredible. And like, and so how, just the sculpting alone, do you know how long that took you? Uh, so? Just the sculpting alone, before paint. Uh, yes. 
just, uh, just a sculpting. And after I making some real, uh, really amazing with the, some kind of extra details, yeah. sculpt, sculpted, exactly sculpted. Yeah. So how long do you think that? How long? Uh, how you? long? Uh, I don't care. I just can't count. Don't count. Hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just. I don't want to know. All right. That, okay. Okay. So let's talk about the sculpting's done. Let's talk about the paint job. The decision in the paint job. What what inspired where you what you did with it and. Uh, and again, kind of drove, you've, you've given us inspiration for the sculpting and the character, but where did the paints come alive and what did they, why did you choose what you chose to do with them and stuff like that? Mm, okay, first I tried to find some good uh, combination of colors mm -hmm. and I think that the uh, best combination for me is uh, uh, dark blue and the crimson, crimson mm -hmm. fist, uh, looks really impressive. Uh, and I tried to find some reference for the free hands that can really inspire me. Uh, it was a gothic uh, medieval armor, uh, some kind of gothic architecture, mm. uh, some kind of medieval uh, fine art. And I just try to repeat all this stuff on these models because it have really huge surface, mm -hmm. really big for exactly for free hands. Uh, some free hands uh, sculpted and some free hands just uh, painted over <laughs> the surface. Yeah, because I prefer to mix these two techniques. Uh, when I paint free hands, it looks uh, more fine than I can sculpt it. Mm. Because I'm using uh, metallics and metallics not always looks uh, nice uh, on the very uh, small relief. So I just combine this technique for the making more accurate looking of free hands. It's incredible. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think we're going to say that a lot. Yeah, I think <laughs> many, people, many people can use it, technique, for yeah. their own works, why not? Yeah, and the skin on the face and everything is just mm. amazing. Yeah. And making so many different textures look real. The fabric, yeah. even with the freehand designs on it, looks like fabric with patterns on it. The armor with weathering looks like weathered armor yeah. with the metallics, and skin looks like skin, and hair looks like hair. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I guess the next question would be for you, Jen, which would be what caught the judge's attention, although I think you've kind of laid a lot of it out right there. Everything he's talked about, and I, I think it has one of the qualities of, of a really wonderful model. When you look at it, you see a character. You see something that is mm. alive. You don't look at it and think that's a miniature. You look at it and you think, oh, there's, you know, there's, there's a space marine. Yeah. And it, it, it just had a, a sense of presence that was uh, quite impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive. Uh, apart from yeah. all the technical skill that went into rendering the painting itself, um, aesthetically, you know, the balance and the composition of him were uh, very, very beautiful. And the model on 360 degrees uh, just looked perfect everywhere. And yet, like, he was natural, not posed like a mannequin in a store. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I think, like, we, we were blown away. I think everyone that saw it was very impressed. So, Thank uh, you. So the question is, do we see another entry from you three years from now? Mm, I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, great. great. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations.